Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to the Dara Education Project video tutorial series for the Ruby programming. And in this session number 32, we are going to learn some basic uh, concepts of the array in Ruby programming. So let's start our program and uh, create a new project, new file. <coughs> array fundamentals. <coughs> Ruby file. Okay, uh, guys, first of all, I want to discuss some important thing about that array basically in uh, is a contiguous memory allocation uh, and uh, in uh, different languages, they are the different kinds of the arrays, but mostly the, uh, the array was the homogeneous. It means that the data type of the all the elements of the array will be the same, but remember that uh, array in Ruby is heterogeneous genius it means that you can uh, use any kind of data type in any uh, in an array with the same uh, with the same manner so for example we are going to use an array in four array and uh, here is the array for example i am using the numeric values and uh, something like the uh, decimal points we 36 and Sephla da something like da soft and use 38 something like this okay for this thing you can be very easy to understand that you will need to create an array uh, of using something like this Mm. expected but we need to create an array for this thing we use info array is equal to array dot new and now we will need to display info array Okay, we have some problems here, and I think, oh, oh sorry, we are missing this uh, uh, big bracket rather than curly brackets here. So this is the major problem here. Uh, you can define the array with simply by using this thing and just run this application. Remember that you can use a small, uh, sorry, curly brackets here, but you can use a big brackets instead of using that here. So you can see that this is a heterogeneous and uh, one more thing is that you can see that the, all the variables are have different types but they are using in the same array. We can define one more thing that is the important thing that uh, in Ruby array are indexed. It means that the, this element is on the zero index then first index. 2, 3, 4, and 5, and 6 index was there. If you want to display uh, the numbers like this, ports info array, and display the individual numbers, I just want to this one and comment this one so that we can understand the concept very easily. So I'm just giving the three uh, index here and run this program. Now you can see that it will display the value 45.36. Why? Because this was on the 0, 1, 2 and 3rd index was here. If we will use the 4 index, then it will display the Sephula data on our screen. And then run this program, you can see that this is, the, uh, this is the another way. And similarly, this is a new beauty of the Ruby program that array Ruby array can use the reverse index to index two. It means that this will be on minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six, and minus seven. Similarly, if you want to display it, I just comment it and use the reverse index ports 
and uh, put info array and use the minus 3 and run this program okay you can see that once again it will be my shuffle adar because minus 1 minus 2 and minus 3 if you will use minus 5 then it will display the value 69.36 okay so th this thing will be clear out that you can use uh, the reverse index was there similarly there are the many ways to create this uh, uh, array concept for example you can create the array with using uh, my array student array with the help of uh, array dot new and uh, in this way you can create an object of the array similarly you can also define the size of the uh, size sorry you can define you can define the size of the array at the time of creation creation for example student name is equal to array dot new and give the 20 or 12 size whatever you need so once again you can uh, size uh, uh, and fix the size of the array but remember that you can change the size of the array at any time at any time that that thing uh, that is the beauty of the ruby because in the different languages it was not happening that you can use to display and uh, to that for example it means that you can uh, change the size of the array at any time now uh, we have uh, another way uh, to display the elements of an array the simple way is that just like that i can use a ports in for a but if you want to uh, display the uh, array with this thing here with the loop ports dot each oh sorry uh, ports and uh, Post statement we can use sorry info array dot each and uh, in this we are in this method we are assigning this the value with the help of y elements you can see and uh, this one we discussed this in the last sessions very well that how to display the values and uh, puts and here is the element now we will run this program I think uh, we have some issues here I think we are using the wrong braces here so this is the right braces the curly braces and then run this program <coughs> okay in block in undefined local variable or method element oh sorry we are missing the element here run this program once again and uh, you can see that it will print all the uh, information according to us so this is another method uh, by which you can use uh, uh, to display the value pairs and if you want to assign if you want to assign the values of the array then what will you do for example you can just use info array array dot and info array and uh, use the index on which you want to change for example i am using the value on the second index and then place it with the, uh, the education and now you will run this statement once again 
and uh, you can see that the value was changed on that index 2 you can see that 0 1 2 and the value of the first thing was here 69.36 and it was replaced with the data education similarly we have two more useful functions for uh, to add to add a new element in the array we can use the push statement we use the push statement and in this push statement we can just uh, use the array and uh, here is the info array and then we use do two signs here and uh, this will be the uh, uh, great ruby program and you can see that this will be displayed at the end of the statement here I just use ports in 4a and now we will run this program okay and you can see that this great ruby program will display at the end of the array and you can see that uh, the end the third after 38 it will be displayed the great ruby program similarly if you want to delete the any element to delete the element at the end of the array then you will need to use the pop statement similarly it was concept of the push and pop and for this thing just to use the info dot info array dot pop statement so you don't need to give anything just to display it uh, ports and I think I can use info array dot pop for more than two things so you can see dot pop and uh, okay now I will remove three elements at the end of the array and you can see that great ruby program and here is the value 38 and 1 2 3 and you can see that value of uh, the value was uh, this just uh, removed from at the end of the program so guys thank you very much uh, for watching this tutorial please subscribe our channel for further videos and information uh, i think we need to put in for okay, mm, okay. So I think make this uh, uh, just like that to comment so we can understand the whole array very easily. So just to run this program. So you can see that the values was removed successfully at the end. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe our channel for further videos and informations. Allah Hafiz.